Hello. This is a video on the truncated icosadodecahedron. This is one of the 13 Archimedean solids. In this series, I'm explaining how the Archimedean solids can be derived from the five platonic solids, also trying to make sense out of these strange names. In this schematic across the top, we see the five platonic solids. The 13 Archimedean solids are found as follows. Five are by truncating, two are by rectifying, two are by expanding, and two are by snubifying the original platonic solids. The last two Archimedean solids are found by truncating existing Archimedean solids. In this video, I will be looking at the truncated icosadodecahedron, which is found by truncating the icosadodecahedron. Here we have the truncated icosadodecahedron. It does have a couple of other names. This particular website calls it the Rombi truncated icosadodecahedron. We do not have a website that allows us to truncate the icosadodecahedron, but we will use this website to remind ourselves what truncation means. Here we have the tetrahedron, and this is the truncation process, cutting off the corners. Here we have the cube, and I can truncate the corners here. To do a proper truncation, you truncate the edge so that the resulting figure here is regular, that is equilateral and equiangular. Now let's visualize what goes on when we take the icosadodecahedron on the left and truncate it. First of all, let's take a look at a vertex. This vertex is degree 4. So when I chop this off, a square is going to result. Secondly, let's take a look at the triangular faces. I'm going to be chopping off let me go ahead and show how to do this here. Let me see if I can draw this on here. When we truncate this, this is going to be chopped off, this is going to be chopped off, and this is going to be chopped off. So this triangular face is going to turn into an equilateral hexagon. Similarly, each of the corners of this pentagon are going to be chopped off, giving it five new sides, making it a decagon. On the left hand side here we have the data for the original icosadodecahedron. We would like to fill in these blanks here for the truncated icosadodecahedron. Let's think about the three types of faces that we have here. Type 1, a good way to handle type 1 is to say that these are the resulting faces over here which came from the resulting faces of type 1 here. On the left hand side, what we're calling type 1 are the pentagons. These pentagons are going to become decagons. In other words, N1 is going to be 10. The type 2 faces on the left hand side are the three sided triangles. They become the type 2 faces on the right hand figure, which are the hexagons. And finally, the type 3 faces on the right-hand side result from cutting off the vertices. Since this is degree 4, we're going to get squares over here. So, N3 will be 4. Now, it's your job to figure out how many of those decagons, how many hexagons, and how many squares we get. Pause the video now to fill in the rest of the blanks.